Punters, hello, how are you, how's your day? I am actually a little bit fearful today. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my FTP test so that I can start my 12 week program that Zwift have on their uh, platform that you can go and use and it's included in your membership. Uh, but in order to do that, you need to know where you're starting from before you start training. So this is what I have to do today. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I've, I've, done, I've done two of these before. Um, Top tips, number one, get ready to know that it's gonna be the worst. Number two, have a bucket in case you throw up. Number three, just faff around as much as possible because when you're on this, you've gotta be completely locked in and you can't have any distractions whatsoever. So I've just been here fiddling with my shoes, fiddling with the bike, everything, getting everything dialed and then I should be okay to go and get the most accurate reading possible. And also, I'm gonna pump out some really angry metal music while I do it, because I find it's the best way of getting me through it. There's not gonna be much talking. I'm gonna do, oh, maybe voiceover Paul will join in. Uh, and I'm just gonna get started right now. The test I'm doing here is the shorter test on Zwift. It's about 40-ish minutes long. The program warms you up based on your current FTP level, and then you spend 20 minutes trying to hold as high a power level as you can. Yeah, it's tough, the worst in fact. Your functional threshold power is the most amount of power you are likely to sustain for 45 to 60 minutes on the bike. Zwift then uses this number to tailor their training programs for your level. They take the average power you sustain for that 20 minute test and then take 95% of that number and boom, there's your FTP. Something that's really important to remember is to switch off the ERG mode. This is how Zwift communicates from the computer to your trainer, and it changes the resistance based on what's happening on the screen and in the virtual world. It's great for the initial warm-up period, but in the actual test of the 20 minutes, it messes with your cadence and it keeps trying to figure out what power you're trying to output, and it just changes and it's a bit difficult. Whereas if you just use the gears and feel out the power for what you need based on what you're putting through the cranks, you get, you get a better result. So for my test, I wanted to try and hold 240 watts for that 20 minutes. I've done it, the test twice before, so I have some idea of what I was aiming for. And if you're watching this because you're doing some research for your own FTP test, I'd recommend trying it a few times and then you know, figuring out what's, what you're likely to get, um, even though it sucks so much every time you do one. Then the last time I did the test, I held around 215 watts for 20 minutes and it gave me an FTP of 207, which is what I worked to when training last year. Uh, the idea is that you try and keep things pretty consistent the whole way through the test. You don't start big and then finish small or the other way around. But for the first 10 minutes, kind of trying to find your pacing is normally the best way. And then at 10 minutes, you're, you, know, you try and up it again and you kind of keep doing that in, in steps towards the end. I was feeling pretty solid during the first 40% of this test and just focused on the end goal and dreaming of not having to do it again. I may have mentioned once or twice that this is this test really sucks. Almost halfway. So but at the halfway stage, things started to go wrong. It was Christmas Day and I had completely messed up my meal timings. Uh, rookie error. So I had too much food in me when I started to do this and a stitch hit me pretty hard. Oh, I got a stitch. I figured I'd try and try to ride through it. I remember this happening the last time actually I did an FTP test, um, but it was just too hard. I had to get off and stop, swear profusely. <laughs> uh, I was pretty annoyed at myself because um, I, was, I was only, you know, nine minutes away from finishing it and I didn't have to do it again. Fuck off! Ah. 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 Fuck! But how do you get over a failure like that? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You go to bed, you wake up the next day, get back in the garage, Put on your favorite bib shorts that you can find more info on in the description and do the test again. And that's exactly what I did. This time I nailed all my meals and the extra motivation of getting redemption on that failure yesterday, well the day before, got me going. 
I felt good, I was getting close to the target I'd set myself, and at 10 minutes I tried shifting up a gear to see what I had, but, but quickly realized I had nothing left and just focused on trying to sustain what I was doing. Five minutes, come on. Two minutes. So Wift gives you a warning that you've got one minute to go, and I gave it another burst and really just tried to bury myself as much as I could. I was completely dead at the end. So the result I got was which at my current weight is 2.95 watts per kilo. Uh, it's a little bit up from last year. I'm also like two kilos lighter than I was last year. So there's some pretty good gains given I haven't done any training in the last year. So um, I, I guess, I guess it's, I'm getting better. I can't feel my arms. My legs are just moving around. Whenever you're doing this, you always look back at afterwards and think that you can give more. But I just want to log as I've been doing more. I was ruined. But it's not really the result that matters here. It's it's the where you start from. It's knowing that starting point so that you can actually get into the training programs and work on those effectively. So now I can build on this and see how much I can improve by the time I do the BC bike race in July. If you've never seen one of my videos before and you enjoyed this and I'll do some more Zwift videos, then hit the subscribe button to see where I go from, from this test. And if you enjoyed it, hey, hit the like button as well. I've made a couple of other Zwift videos and of course there's more to come in the future. Uh, so here's a playlist popping up on the screen as well. Thanks punters. I will see you next time for more Sufferfests. <laughs>